We have to check in with the Animal Rescue League of Iowa and see what is going on and find a pet that needs a forever home. Megan Davies is joining us right now from the ARL. Megan, how are you, buddy? Hello, doing really well. Trying to stay warm in this yes. polar vortex. And I see that somebody else is trying to stay warm right next to you, burrowing underneath some uh, what looks like shredding or uh, some kind of bedding there. Who do we have here? Yes, this is Ethel. She is a one-year-old female hamster. Uh, we have a hamster palooza going on here at ARL Maine. <laughs> um, unfortunately, an owner thought they got two male hamsters and ended up being a male female. So rodents do what rodents do, which is high reproduction rate, um, and they have reproduced. So we have 11 hamsters here at ARL Maine that are looking for loving homes, um, and Ethel is looking for her forever home. Wow. Okay, so we have Ethel. Now, how old are the other hamsters? Uh, do we have any idea how old the other ones are? Yeah, so mom and dad are about a year old, um, and the other hamsters, uh, we're guessing about uh, two to three months old. Uh, hamsters generally live about two to four years. Um, they're very easy to care for. Um, they are nocturnal, though, so that means that they are active at night and not during the day. So you're just... Keep that in mind if you're looking for that. They're going to be really active at night. So make sure you get like quiet exercise wheels and things like that. Because <laughs> otherwise they're going to do what Ethel's doing here during the day. Make a nice little burrow and just go to sleep. All right. So keep in mind, good starter pets too for kids, aren't they? Absolutely. Really great way to introduce your uh, child to um, pet responsibility. Um, they're very easy to clean and take care of. You really only have to deep clean the enclosure about once a month, and it's really just daily spot cleaning, fresh water and food, and they're pretty good to go. All right, that's awesome. That's over at the ARL main location. Now let's talk about some things that are coming up because next week going to be very busy but with some dinners that people can buy and help out the Rescue League. Tell us what's going on. Yes, this is one of my favorite events. Uh, it is Spaghetti and No Balls. It is uh, on uh, February 21st between 4 and 8 p.m. You guys can have a, a, a meal with a lettuce, uh, sorry, <laughs> salad and a dinner and a drink. And it's only $20 per person. Twelve of those dollars go directly back to the Animal Rescue League to help with our spay and neuter program. So what we do with that program is that not everybody can afford the very expensive cost to go to the vet and get their um, animals altered. Uh, so we provide that service here at a very reduced cost if you reach uh, certain brackets and recommendations for that program. And you can come in and get your animal spayed and neutered, right. which is so, so, so important. It's really great for their health. It can increase their life expectancy. It can help with some behavior problems that you're maybe seeing at home. Um, and it helps with our mission, which is reducing the overpopulation of pets. Yeah, really cool. Two different restaurants are involved with this uh, next week. Uh, Opa and Scornavacas. Uh, there's two carryout nights for each one of the restaurants and then two sit down nights for each one of those restaurants. Uh, you know, just check the uh, the Facebook page or the website for the Animal Rescue League to find out about those, uh, which is really a neat thing to do. And you've added something too. you've added a shirt uh, that people can yes. purchase, too. So uh, what about getting these shirts? So the shirts are only $20. They range from small to 2XL, so lots of options. So if you love, it says spaghetti and no balls on it, which I just absolutely love that. Um, and you can order them online and then pick up details will be emailed to you. All right, so that's happening next week. Again, the 17th for pickup and then the 18th over at OPA. And then on Saturday, the 20th for carryout. And then on the 21st over at Scornavaca. So uh, you get all the details on the website or the Facebook page here. Uh, uh, real quick, I want to talk about something that's going on tonight. We have some photos uh, that are being taken and there's some spots open for Valentine's pictures in the six o'clock hour. Really quick, what do we have going on there? Yeah, so we have several spots up to six to eight. I just checked a couple minutes ago for our Valentine's Day photo shoot. We are sold out tomorrow. So this is your only time to do this. It is only $10. It's a high resolution picture, that digital picture that you receive. You could check previous photos on our website to get those photos to see what you're looking at because it's really worth it to see all those photos. Very cute backdrop. It's a it's a different backdrop every year, but get get it in there, get in there, and get a really cute photo of you and your pet. All right, and also uh, we have the uh, Trap Neuter Return Program uh, that the Rescue League is involved with too. If people want to get more information on, on the Trap Neuter Return Program, where can they go for that? They can go to arl-iowa.org slash TNR.
All right. As always, great job out of you. But Hamster Palooza, is that what you called it? Going on now yes. at the Animal <laughs> Rescue League of Iowa. Check them out and maybe bring a ham hamster into your life. Megan Davies, thank you so much. Have yourself an awesome weekend and stay warm. Thank you. Bye. All right, buddy. There you have it. That is Megan Davies at the Animal Rescue League of Iowa.